Okay, I didn't expect much from Night Swim. It's a movie plopped out in January, and Blumhouse's record is far from good these days. But it's got Kurt Russell's son Wyatt in it, as well as Carrie Condon, and I was willing to give James Wan a chance. I mean, I thought Malignant was unconventionally good. So maybe, just maybe Night Swim, a story about a haunted swimming pool, might be decent enough. Let's take a dip into Night Swim, and I'll tell you what I thought about it after this. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. Night Swim is new on-demand and digital download from Universal Pictures. It's directed by Bryce McGuire and written by Bryce McGuire and Rob Blackhurst. Ray Waller, played by Wyatt Russell, his wife Eve, played by Carrie Condon, and his two kids, Izzy and Elliot, played by Emile Hoferly and Gavin Warren, respectively, decide to move into a new home with a swimming pool in the backyard. You see, Ray suffers from multiple sclerosis, and his doctor suggests water-based therapy to help him. So buying a house with a pool was a no-brainer. But it turns out this pool is somehow connected to a natural spring that runs deep underneath the pool. When Ray starts swimming in the pool, his MS symptoms diminish, which leaves Ray to think some kind of miracle has happened, and he dreams of returning to his former career as a professional baseball player. But for the pool to heal, it must take a life, and the pool has its eyes on someone in Ray's family as a sacrifice. If pools had eyes, that is. I can almost see James Wan now. Wan produced Night Swim, and his name is heavily featured in the trailers. I could see him sitting in his backyard, soaking in the sun, and racking his brain for that new great idea for a horror film. And just when Wan is about to give up the ghost, his kid screams to him to watch him do a cannonball into the pool, and as the splash splooshes all over him, Juan stands erect with a finger in the air and says, By George, I think I've got it. Then he calls Jason Blum on the phone and says, Blumpkin, my man, I think I've got a new movie for you. And Jason Blum is like, Wonton, sock it to me. You know I love all your ideas. And Juan says, You know how I did two different haunted house films and no one really noticed, even though both of them starred Patrick Wilson? And then Blum says, yeah, but I seriously doubt we can get away with another haunted house film with Patrick Wilson. And then Juan says, No, Blumpire, I'm not going to do another haunted house movie this time. Are you sitting down? It's going to be, you're sure you're sitting down? A haunted pool. And then Blum says, Genius idea, Obi-Wan. Who do you want to star in it? And then Juan says, Patrick Wilson, of course. And then Blum says, oh, no, sorry, no, Patrick is getting his forehead extended again. Best I can do is Kurt Russell's son. And then Juan is like, okay, sounds good. He's kind of like Patrick Wilson, I guess. And Blum is like, yeah, he is. And Juan's like, yeah. And Blum goes, yeah. And Juan waits a second and says, okay, I guess I'll hang up now and get to work. And Blum says, all right, bye. And Juan says, bye. And then Blum waits a second and asks, did you hang up? And Juan goes, no, I was about to. And Blum goes, okay, I'm going to hang up now. And Juan says, okay, bye. We make sweet babies together. And Blum goes, what'd you say? And Juan goes, no, nothing. Bye. And Blum goes, bye. And then Juan awkwardly says, bye again. And hangs up. Uh, that's that's uh, how I imagine the seeds of night swim was planted. Anyway, this movie sucked. I know, shocker. But I'm not one of those reviewers who says something sucks and leaves it at that. Let's start with the story, which is ridiculous. Somehow the explanation why the pool is haunted is that it is connected to a natural spring that used to have mystical healing powers. 
given the pool has no face or even really any kind of distinguishing qualities other than being a pool, it really is hard to make it scary. In concept, this could be something interesting. The main problem is that it all seems good on paper until you say the lines these characters say out loud. There's something wrong with the pool. I don't trust that pool. I've got to get back to the pool. I think that pool is evil. It's just so utterly stupid when you say it out loud. It's the same way Shyamalan tried to characterize the wind in The Happening. And you know how that worked out for him. Night Swim feels like the writers took a bunch of scenarios that can happen in a pool and ham-fistedly tried to make them scary. There's a chicken fight that turns deadly. Tossing quarters into the water and diving to find them suddenly evokes all kinds of terror. A flirtatious game of Marco Polo gets real and creepy. You think of the water sport that can be done in a pool, and they try to make it spooky in Night Swim. Night Swim tries to evoke the same kind of fear of the water that Jaws instilled upon the masses long ago, just when you thought it was safe to go back into the water and all that. There's quite a few scenes that ape specific scenes in Jaws, such as the first attack where a girl is jarringly tossed around in the pool, seemingly in the grip of something below the surface we can't see. There's another scene where Eve, played by Carrie Condon, hears a scream from the pool and rushes to the window, only to find that those shrieks are just a couple of kids playing. These moments are clever, I see what the director was trying to do, but Jaws had doll eyes and rows of razor-sharp teeth. This pool has a mechanical cleaner and a diving board. Not the most terrifying of features. Sure, there are the ghosts that seemingly haunt the pool, but these spooks look like generic background dancers from Michael Jackson's Thriller video. Gary Condon and Wyatt Russell are way too good for this film. I know bills have to be paid, but this is not a movie either of these very solid actors are going to look back on with any type of pride. They're simply not given much of a story, as every five minutes we have to get back to that spooky pool. The conflict Russell's Ray faces is a selfish one, as he wants to be the baseball player he was before the MS kicked in. There's also a theme of one of the siblings being better at sports than the other one, which ties into Ray's conflict and the curse of the pool. The problem is that while Ray is being self-centered, he isn't necessarily bad, or doesn't do anything that deserves any kind of punishment other than happening to be unlucky enough to buy a house with a haunted pool. In the third act, he becomes possessed, just like Patrick Wilson did in Insidious and James Brolin did in The Amityville Horror. While I really love flipping expectations, at least Insidious's Patrick Wilson's character was neglecting his home and family. Ray is a loving dad, and while I don't expect everything to come up roses in a horror movie, seeing Ray pay the price, though he really doesn't do anything wrong, feels unsatisfying and unnecessarily manipulative emotionally. But all of that is too much examination of a film that really just isn't too deep. I found the characters and their motivations to be shallow. The plot just treads water until the ending, which fails to float. In the end, Night Swim had some nuggets of inspiration, but the writers failed to dive into any of them, resulting in being the cinematic equivalent of a turd in the pool. Here it is! It's no big deal. Oh. Okay, enough puns. Did you see this one? Are you gonna see it even after hearing this review? What do you think of Blumhouse these days? Do pools scare you? Let me know the answers to these questions and more down in the comments. Stuck inside your reality